Yes, well, this is a different look for Casey Stoney. She typically likes to play in a 4-3-3. Well, she wants to match the midfield, and they're starting a 3-4-3. This is really how Chris Petroselli has liked to set them up. Two big additions to them this year, back from early in the match. Swanson with the corner for Chicago. Oh, and a miss hit right in front of the goal, and it's there. It is there for Chicago, and Yuki Nagasato opening the scoring on the opening day of the NWSL season in 2023. What a start for Chris Petroselli's side, but a horrible moment in the San Diego defense. But then last year found her goaling, goal scoring bone. Here she is a couple of times, but she just keeps it alive. It's Ricaro once, it's Ricaro again. And then here's Nagasato keeping herself alive, just tempting at the front post. She d does the easy job there. Casey Stoney really relies on one of the first names on the team sheet. San Diego head coach. She said she's the chillest person you'll ever meet. Well, an Australian but, chilled out, you sure? I know, right? But she just is so thrilled she's on the squad. Here comes San Diego. Chicago haven't cleared the ball. Almost a horrible error. For San Diego, it was not long in coming. And Amira Ali with the goal. And Casey Stoney's side on level. Centrally here, watch her check her shoulder. She sees where Aaron Wright is and just follows. Alyssa Nair gets the first touch, but it's not good enough. It bounces off the top of the par. And then Ali just keeps herself in a really good spot. I love that she checked her shoulder before she knew. Make sure you join the way for their next home game as they host the North Carolina Courage on April the 1st. Get your tickets at San Diego Wave FC.com slash tickets. If you want to be part of this action, Mallory Swanson. Corner for San Diego. Looking to come from behind. Shaw with a strike. And what a strike it was as well. Jaden Shaw, San Diego coming from behind, and now they're in front of the Snapdragon. Casey Stoney's side are flying. Because there's challenges here. You get a challenge on the ball. Well, the next opportunity is always going to be at the top of the box, and Shaw just keeps everything alive in the way she strikes this. So pure. Laces through it, right foot. She knew right away when that left her boot that it was going in the back of the net. As Chicago come once again. Oh, Penelope from the penalty spot. She scored two out of three for Chicago in 2022. What can she do here? Swanson up against Kaylin Sheridan. This to draw Chicago level before half time. And Swanson does it. It's 2 2. And what a topsy turvy first half we've had. Mallory Swanson. Poor in both penalty boxes. It's a foul on Colaprico. She knocks down right, and then Swanson steps up. Back into the danger area. Sasso over ahead. Well, was that a penalty? They wanted one. And it's been awarded a penalty to Chicago deep into stoppage time. The energy that was needed, I think, in this sequence long before this is just trying to clear it. And Colaprico hits the player here first. She hits right, knocks right over, then heads the ball. I think it's a proper call because the contact happens with right first before she gets contact with the ball. There's, okay, I, I think there's still moments where it's a little cagey. There's still moments where it feels like a preseason game or just the first start of the season. And I think right now they kind of have to. Here comes Alex Morgan, which she brought down. And the free kick's awarded. It's going to be the first yellow card of this game.
Agasato. It's good defending the second wave of attack there from San Diego Wave. Well, desperate defending. Can't react straight in there, but it's straight into the midriff of Nea, either side of her, and that could have caused her a real problem. Well, it's not a corner kick, but it's the same thing, just poor defensive work. End-to-end oh, -end stuff here, hocking, looking to take aim, but that was really, really important defensive duties. San Diego is to be able to learn under Stoney, and what she is going to challenge her to get better at. Swanson for Chicago, so quick. What about the finish? The save by Sheridan. But how about this ball from Nagasato? It's perfectly weighted over the back line. And Pews, for we just haven't seen that from Penelope Hawking. So with the, the change in the midfield, it's not man for man anymore, which it was a lot of that first half because of how San Diego had decided to set up. So now Hawking is finding the pocket. Towards Swanson. chance for Chicago with Sarah Griffith once again. Now Hocking with an opportunity for Chicago. Ella Stevens with the strike. Goes straight down the throat of Kaylin Sheridan. There have been a few chances tonight which have gone really centrally towards as many as previously. Which is a positive thing for the head coaches. It's a real balance for them, isn't it, when they're planning their roster as to how many international players on the side. Especially ones who qualified for the World Cup. And what can Chicago do here? Looking to make something happen, not this time. And a very promising debut from Penelope Hawking. Yeah, she's done well, especially in this second half, which is to be expected. It's the level is completely different from college to pro, and the game is a little bit cagey in the first 45 minutes as Chicago has settled. Craziness in the last few minutes. More of this, please. Here we come, San Diego, and it's Alex Morgan. She's claiming that's humble, and it's a penalty. Two minutes to go, and it's a penalty for San Diego. I think you said 94th minute, but 88th was more like it here as Morgan. Really good run for her along the back line. She curves her run so she stays on side, and then right here, just hits off of her trail arm. And is Alex Morgan stepping up against Alyssa Nea. This potentially for three huge, huge points. It's Morgan, and she finds the bottom corner. Alex Morgan delivers once again, and the Snapdragon Stadium goes wild. Back onto her left foot, right, trying to do all she could, ends up being a handball, but the poise of Alex Morgan from the spot. I don't know how much more perfect you can place a ball there. Right into the corner of the net, bringing in players to, to hold it down as Kruger was out early in the match. Gibson and forwards once again with less urgency this time. She's found her way through. She's found her way through. And a chance. What a chance it was as well for Mackenzie Doniak. Crowded out by right at the death. And that's it. It is all over. Three goals and three precious, precious points.